the knowledge and skills that students have to exhibit here at Expo are exactly the skills that are most valued in college, work, and life. Freshman year of high school, when I was 13 years old, I joined something called the Digital Academy of Arts and Sciences. And I really didn't know exactly what I was getting myself into. But for the next four years, my education um, was incredibly transformative, incredibly different than what most people get. I competed at Expo Fest for four years with five different projects. I worked on mobile applications, I worked on science experiments, I worked on business plans. But I think, and I always talk about this, more so than the hard skills, the most important thing that I got out of this program was the intangible skills. When I came into high school and my entire life up until then, I was incredibly shy. When I was in kindergarten, actually, I didn't say a single word to any of my teachers. My mom actually had to send me to school with a laminated pass around my neck, and one side said yes, and the other side said no, and that was how I communicated. I'll never forget walking in, and there was my son in his business suit, standing in front of his booth and talking to hundreds of people from the public that are interested in his project. He was very successful and he won the capstone that year. It springboarded him to the business school at Northeastern. He's in his second year there. Getting in that development and the role that this program played in that development was honestly one of the big, biggest things that got me into Northeastern. His first year in business school at Northeastern, he said, it's, all ca it's just like capstone, Mom. After high school, I'm going to UConn Stanford for um, fine arts and then I'm transferring to FIT for my bachelor's of fine arts. I'm mainly a painter, but my mediums range from sculpting and just ceramics and fashion, making clothes and designs and stuff. I got a lot of good skills from Capstone. I learned how to present better and talk to people, make a lot of connections to people. I challenge myself. I've never done something this big. I've never worked with a canvas this big. And to even tackle three, let alone, was like really big for me. So Capstone allowed me to you know, be comfortable, but also push my limits as well. When I was a sophomore, um, I was in an elective called Health Science. Our end of the year project was to go to Expo Fest, and I really enjoyed working with it. And then um, the year after that, we left the Health Science class and formed an after-school club whose sole focus was to compete at Expo. But the after-school um, team, just because of how well it has worked, um, and how it's brought together kids from all grades um, and all interests too, not just kids that are interested in health science, but also we have business people and digital media and design people all coming together and that model has worked really well, so we're going to continue it into the future. It's a lot of work and so I think the fact that I'm still here three years later definitely shows that there's something special to it. I think the major draw for me has just been that it's really unlike anything else I have the opportunity to do in school. Um, it's really allowed me to not only like improve my communication and collaboration skills and work with other students, but it's allowed me to personally push myself. Novatech is the better home lighting solution we've all been waiting for. Novatech, light the future. <laughs> Next year I'm going to Yale. Um, I'm going to be studying molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. Um, and I'm on a pre-medicine track. The capstone project helped me out to learn new techniques in like sewing. I also learned uh, to use new patterns, uh, to like tweak patterns and uh, uh, use commercial patterns for my, a lot of my stuff. I used uh, a lot of bandanas. I cut them up, put them together. And uh, I used uh, other textiles from, uh, I went out to New York City to buy them. So uh, I went to go to FIT for college. Capstone was very cool in that I had the opportunity to have a real world business experience where I went on one path that I was really passionate about, built a project, was researching competitors and found that my competitors already existed, were pretty strong, and I had to kind of change my approach, create something that would be unique, and that was very, I think, beneficial. I really liked the mentor relationship we were required to have. I ended up with 260 something emails back and forth with my mentor. So I knew how to write code, how to write functions, but I didn't really understand how to get data automatically from on online sources and how to automate um, functions when I needed to. And he was huge in helping me learn that and really igniting that passion there. Before Capstone, I'd planned on being a finance major. 
Capstone really emphasized my love for computer science. So rather than finance, I'm now business analytics. And I've added a supplemental major in applied math and computer science as well. For this year in Capstone, we got the choice to work individually or with a partner. Uh, I've collaborated with a peer, uh, Dion Griffin. We figured why not start a company where we focus on what we love, which is the business, filming, content creation. And for the past four years as well, when managing other expo teams, we realized, well, maybe we can manage someone's social media. And as we collaborate, and we just bounce ideas off each other. And what's good about our work is like, if I have an idea and he doesn't like it, like he'll say it. Like we're both straight up with each other. We plan to continue this business after high school. I will be going to school full time as well as my partner. I am going to be attending Southern Connecticut State University for college. I'm going into business management with a focus in branding and marketing. I will be continuing on with my capstone project. I'm going to make it a full legal business. The business is something that we really do want to focus on. After the competition, we plan on filing as a f uh, filing for an LLC. Our passion for this is like really heavy. Like we always want to do this. This is not just your capstone, this is your business. This, yeah, this is life. <laughs> We've always treated it as a business. I've learned a vast amount of skills, too many to count from being at Expo Fest and Capstone, working on this project. Those are gonna be vital for my future, but communication, uh, speaking in public, which was my biggest fear before. Uh, these are all things I, I'm excited to teach to other people. I think he's going to be a businessman, um, big time. You know, he likes to have the connections with everyone. He's matured very much by coming to do things like this. From my capstone project, I've learned time management skills. That's very important, I think, especially going on to college next year. He interacts with people more easily than he used to. Um, he's a go-getter. He can approach people, he'll ask for favors, he'll try to learn. I was direct messaging big content creators, um, big businesses, big organizations, and some of them responded and some of them didn't. Gathering mentors was required, but my partner and I also knew that mentors were, mentor was going to make or break us. Without a mentor or a, part, or a sponsor, we would have no guidance or no direction. We would just be two kids thinking that we're running a business, but their feedback is real. Their, what they have to say is real, and we realize that. In the New Media Challenge, we have co-friend media from ESOMS. During high school, I actually wanted to be pre-med, so I went into college pre-med. But at the end of my freshman year, I was kind of looking back at all that I had done, and specifically in Capstone, my project was analyzing the healthcare system. And I kind of found a love for healthcare management and healthcare administration. And when I looked back at it, I realized that I created this whole research document that kind of was healthcare administration, essentially. So right now my major is in economics, my minor is in healthcare management and insurance studies, and then um, data analytics and marketing. So when I was in high school, my counselor often told me whenever I had issues with my schedule to deter from taking academy classes, skill t skills 21 classes, and take re regular AP classes or higher level math classes, which I was in. But there is a way to balance it. You can do it. Being in a program where you can take your passions and take whatever you truly want to do and create something from it is much more valuable than taking an AP science class or an AP math class, whatever AP class it might be. If when they're in school, there's always a ceiling of an A and a kid can get an A and think that they're done and that's all they need. And with this kind of a program, you don't stop at an A. Um, and my kids don't even stop when they win the Expo. You know, they're thinking about next year. The experience that you have at Expo, you can't get anywhere else, especially at such a young age. I first went to Expo when I was 13 years old, and that's such a transformative experience because that laid the foundation for everything else. Instead of taking APs, I've taken college classes, and I've done these kind of extracurricular things. I think the broad array of skills that you learn is unlike any kind of classroom experience. I think understanding your strengths and weaknesses is important and you just gain that self-awareness of who you actually are and where you want to go. 